Today we're going to be reviewing the Fuhu Nabi 2 tablet. This is a child's tablet. Um, the company itself advertises this for four and up. However, uh, my toddler, my two-year-old, uh, he is able to navigate all the icons, page to page, open and close programs. He especially likes the, the puzzle games here. Uh, so I, I would tell you that Although uh, the Nabi 2 is marketed for four years and, and, and older, uh, two-year-old children can learn to use this. My child's been using his tablet since he was about oh, 18 months old. Um, uh, now, he's not a, not a little uh, geek, but he is able to navigate through that. And over time, he's learned to really uh, utilize all the features uh, within the, the Nabi 2. The Nabi 2, uh, item number NABI2-NV7A, is available today on Amazon for $179. That's a decent price for what you're getting. Now, uh, the Nabi 2 comes with a uh, bumper, and you can see on this particular bumper here, you have your power on, your up volume, your down volume. Um, nice heavy duty bumper and your tablet just simply slides into the bumper you see these raised ridges here they actually are designed to lock everything in and there's your your bumper you can get it in red uh, I actually am not a red fan and so when mine came with red I ordered blue uh, because I I just don't like red uh, however, uh, either way, decent bumper. Uh, my toddler has dropped this uh, on the concrete floor uh, numerous times on the side here. Uh, let me begin just by saying one thing about the, 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 the Nabi. I don't know if you can see that icon down there. That's the uh, Invita uh, icon. Uh, this has the Tegra 3 uh, processor. It's a quad-core processor or 1.3 gigahertz. There is no child's tablet that can keep up with this tablet in, 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 uh, in relation to speed and processing power. This is a nice tablet. If you uh, look at any of the written reviews on this tablet, you will also find out that uh, people concur with, uh, with uh, my assessment, and that is that uh, you can compare this to many other tablets, but in performance it will outperform many many uh, uh, non-child related tablets. So you're not buying for the 179, you're not buying just a cheap tablet. You are buying a quality tablet for a toddler. Now at 179, that's a decent price. You can pick up a lot of junky tablets for un under or about that price. Now, having said that, I think that there are some things about the, t the tablet that uh, uh, do need to be noted. The viewing angles on this tablet uh, aren't the best. Uh, your, your, your actual screen resolution, this is a seven inch screen. Your screen resolution is 1024 uh, or 1024 by 600. It's decent, uh, however, at angles, especially at the 45, uh, you, can't, you can't see it as crisp and clear as you can on other tablets. So it is a drawback. Uh, Nabi has their proprietary overlay over the top of Android 4.0. So if you're a, a child, everything that you see, you can access. Okay, you can see I've added a lot of programs on here, but it comes with a lot of programs. This tablet has what is called a mommy zone or a daddy zone. <clears throat> what that simply means is if you want to add something to the tablet, you can go into the mommy zone or the daddy zone and you can add or subtract uh, actual uh, uh, icons for the child to access. You can remove the internet, you can, you can uh, add a, a program, you can buy a program today but not add it today. Um, so the mommy zone or daddy zone includes an app zone and the app zone is child based so you can go to create 
you can shop by the age of the child, and this one does show a two-year-old, a three to four-year-old, a five to seven, an eight to eleven, and so on. Click on the age group you want, and it will bring up all the apps that are specific for that age, age uh, group. Um, once you decide you want to buy something, you click on just like you would in the app store under Android, and it will begin downloading it but it will not place the icon in the child mode or called the nabby mode. It will not place it there. You must choose to place it there, okay? And to do that, I'm sorry, I gotta look. You go to add apps and you can see there are check marks there. I don't know if you can see that very clearly, but you can see this one here, which is burn the rope, which comes uh, standard on the, the tablet, you just check it there and it'll now be on the on the uh, nabby mode, the child's mode. You can add or remove. I've taken the calculator and the calendar off, mostly because of his age. Uh, I took the drums off and the email off. Um, anyhow, anything that was older, I took off so that uh, I didn't have to worry about uh, his abilities. Uh, being uh, frustrated with something. Anyhow, the, also in the parent mode is the Nabby MD. Nabby MD D allows for you to submit to Nabby pr problems with the computer or the tablet. Uh, basically, you just simply open up this, you refresh it, you send report, and it, it will send a detailed report to Nabby so they can look at it. Now, Nabby just had an update. Uh, I want to say it was this week and uh, it updated some of the programs and software and it added a little bit but uh, when you want to go to the child mode you go right here it says nabby mode click on that now you're back in to the child's mode it includes Cartoon Network and if you click on that it will just show some old cartoons uh, they do have a subscription for uh, for the cartoons um, right under videos. Uh, this is the fall uh, uh, Foos Kids. These are uh, more in the area of education for your children. Um, it comes with Veggie Tales, a light version. Um, you can buy the videos and download them and so that the children can open them up and they can actually play with uh, VeggieTales. Uh, either they can watch the movie or they can interact with it. My child likes to interact with it. Um, many, many features. Again, uh, the Nabby 2 is, is uh, feature rich. Let me, let me just show you this. On the side here, you have your, your power, your audio out, you have an HDMI, you have a mini USB, and you have a micro SD slot. Now, many tablets, uh, high-end tablets, do not come with that kind of, uh, of uh, uh, slot availability. It just, they just don't. This one does. We can, we can actually watch some of the cartoons right on our big screen. Now, as far as the, the tablet, again, it comes with eight gigabytes of memory. It's not very much. Uh, some people have told me that they've put a 64 a gigabyte a chip in that micro slot and works just fine. Uh, I have a 32 in there and I haven't tested a 64. Uh, the Nabby uh, does not uh, indicate it can use a 64, that it is limited to a 32, but uh, I'm just telling you what, what I have been told. One gigabyte of DDR3 memory, again 4.0 operating system. The tablet is a little bulky. When you put the bumper on the tablet, you're looking at one pound 35 uh, or almost one and a third pounds with the bumper. It's an inch, 0.15 thick. It's a thick, bulky tablet. On the back of the tablet, you'll see these raised squares with the slot. This allows you to hook in uh, alphabet or, or color uh, 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 pieces or animal pieces or car pieces that are sold separately. You, you stick them in and slide it. Um, there, there's, uh, there's 15 slots. Uh, 
for you to, to add whatever you want. If you want to uh, have the alphabet on there or a mixture of cars and colors or whatever you want, you can, you can add that to your Nabby. Um, some people do not like that feature. Um, uh, we personally have not used that feature, but it is something that is available. As far as connectivity, you do have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 3. Uh, it does have a, uh, a gyroscope and an acceler uh, accelerometer. As far as your, uh, your slots, again, you have a micro USB, a mini HDMI. You have the ear jack at the top and at the bottom you have your micro SD slot. They do use a proprietary charger, uh, so um, that is a drawback. However, unplug it and it plugs right into your uh, USB ports. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, as far as the apps that come on it, uh, there are too many for really uh, for me to mention, but I will, I'll just run through a few. It does come with Riptide, and when when uh, when tests were done with this tablet against uh, the the Nexus 7, it performed better than the Nexus 7 uh, when running Riptide. That's hard to imagine, but it does. Uh, it comes with Cut the Rope, Fruit Ninja, Drums, the Cartoon Network, Veggie Tales. It has the Amazon App Store, the Foos Kids uh, browser. Uh, there are two different browsers that come with it. I should mention that one browser is Child Safe. You can it only allows you to search or use pre-approved websites. That's a very nice feature, um, especially in today's day and age. Um, I might mention also that Navi has come out with a new tablet. It is for preteens, and it has more features, more benefits, and it allows a little bit more uh, for the for the uh, preteens. So please uh, consider that for your preteens. Uh, safety is uh, very essential. Uh, I have some preteens. We don't use that because uh, I, I have them sign up with my account and that way I can monitor what they're doing. Uh, they all have their own emails, but uh, all through my account. It's a special way I do that so that I can keep track of what's going on. I, I, I am interested in the lives of my children and so uh, we should try to guard them where we can. As far as battery life, it seems that no matter what you do with this tablet, no matter how hard, hard you push it or how little you push it, you get about seven and a half hours, which is decent. Um, and, I, and I really uh, legitimately mean that. You can push this tablet very hard and still get seven and a half hours out of it. One thing I will tell you is once it crashes, it crashes. And so uh, try not to let it expire. Try, try to observe the warnings that it gives you um, in relation to that uh, that uh, battery. Uh, life. Uh, there are different backgrounds that you can uh, set on this tablet as well. The pros with this unit is cost. $179 on Amazon, brand new. That is fantastic. It does come with the bumper, it comes with the charger, and it does come with an adapter to connect it to your computer. Uh, let's see, other uh, pros, uh, the, the App Store, it has over 500 KidSafe uh, apps. Those ones are, are all approved. Uh, safe for, for the age group. Uh, it has a mommy and daddy mode, which I've already demonstrated. The, the sound on this tablet is really good. Uh, the battery life is very consistent. Uh, it is child safe for, the, for your web and your apps. It comes preloaded with very useful apps and features. Also, it is a fast tablet. As far as cons, you don't get the best viewing angle. I, I wish it were better. It's not. Um, one thing about this tablet is around this perimeter here and the back in here and in these little slots, those are your speakers by the way, it gets dirty. It, uh, your children are rough, they, they, they eat, they, they handle this, and it gets dirty very, very easy. Also, it is bulky. But having said that, the worst thing I've talked about is the viewing angle. I find that this is a very thumbs up tablet, that we've had this tablet now uh, for about eight months. and. Uh, it's been tested on my, my toddler, it's been dropped, it's been kicked, it's been slammed, it's been run dead, and uh, still works just fine. It is a safe alternative to a, to a traditional tablet. This is the Fuhu Nabi 2.